Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 16th, 2022 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. There was some rain and snow in the morning, so I didn't go out until around 10 o'clock. Um, and I went out to the end of the boardwalk and had a nice look at some swamp sparrows singing away. Here we have an immature bald eagle, and I'm not exactly sure what it's carrying. It was carrying it in its bill, and then it would transfer it to its talons. So it looks like some kind of stick or something, or it might have been food. We had a group come out from the Raptor ID class, and here we have Dana Ford showing her Merlin. And it was nice that she brought a bird because really, uh, even though the rain cleared out, the weather just didn't ever really clear up, just stayed heavy overcast and uh, not much raptor activity other than a few um, local birds. Although as soon as she pulled the Merlin out, a Cooper's Hawk kind of came in close to check out what was going on. And here we have a closer look at the Merlin. Here's an Osprey carrying a fish. And close behind it was this immature bald eagle hoping to steal the fish from the osprey. Finally, around 2 o'clock, there was a little bit of blue sky and it got sunny for maybe 15-20 minutes, but it was enough to get some birds up. We had, I think, like 24 broadwings and a handful of turkey vultures and some red tails and some bald eagles and some ospreys just in this like 15-minute window. So here's an adult broadwinged hawk, and this is a very classic look at a broadwing. Again, we see that shape where the front edge of the wing is curved, but the trailing edge is mostly straight. It does have a little bit of a kink to it here, um, but a lot of times this will be completely straight. And we also see that tail pattern where it looks like a black tail with a wide white band on it. And pretty much all the broadwings we're seeing right now and for the next little bit will be adults. They kind of have this horizontal brown barring on them along with the dark trailing edge to the wing. Same thing with the, the red tails. The adults have a dark trailing edge and the juveniles do not. And with the red-tailed hawks, we're always talking about the dark patagial bars. But notice on the broad-winged hawk, no patagial bars. No markings at all in this region. And here we have an adult red-tailed hawk. So just a bigger, bulkier looking beautio. Dark patagial bars and belly band. Uh, it's an adult, so it has a dark trailing edge to the wing and a red tail, although in this lighting condition that doesn't stand out very much. And here we have another case where an osprey had a fish and a bald eagle was chasing it to try to steal it. And here's a topside angle of the same two birds. So you can see that the eagle is a bit bigger than the osprey. If we look at the eBird checklist, today I had 58 species. So decent number of species really for how lousy the weather was overall. And if we check out hawk count for our migrant raptor totals, like I said I only counted for one hour and the totals during that time were 16 turkey vultures, 2 osprey, 2 bald eagles, 6 sharp shinned hawks, 24 broad winged hawks, and 6 red tailed hawks for a total of 56 migrants today. If we take a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy in the early morning, but then becoming sunny by the afternoon, high in the mid 40s, winds west-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that wind direction is okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. And when we have sunshine, uh, that should be enough to get the birds up. Uh, the one factor is how strong the wind is, 10 to 20. It's um, enough to be uncomfortable for us as hawk watchers, especially if it's only going to be in the mid 40s. But um, I would imagine there will be some migration tomorrow. We'll have to see um, exactly how that settles in. Will there be a lot of turkey vultures moving? Um, will broadwings want to be flying in those conditions? It's hard to say. And um, viewing could be difficult if the sky gets too blue. But overall, this looks like one of the better days coming up. So um, if you want to if you want to get out hawk watching in the next few days, it looks like tomorrow might be the best chance. For Monday, looking partly cloudy in the morning and then rain in the afternoon, high in the upper 40s, but the winds will be east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Um, not a great wind direction, um, especially with the rain moving in, so I wouldn't expect much to be migrating at all. Um, maybe a little bit in the morning if there's some sunshine. Um, but once that rain moves in, that will probably shut things down. And for Tuesday, cloudy and becoming windy with a few showers later, high in the low 40s, winds west at 20 to 30 miles per hour, 
So might be a little bit of migration, but just those those winds are a bit too strong and um, chance of showers just seems like a pretty miserable day overall. So we'll probably have some migration, but not a great day overall. All right, that's it for today. A bit of a short update on a somewhat slow day. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of these daily updates from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.